Hello everyone and welcome back to Timberborn. This is the Road to 500 Beaver Challenge. If you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, link to the playlist will be in the description below. In the previous episode, we got these gravity batteries built, as well as we set up the observatory. We also established a new district, which is this one here, the District of Rhode Island. We got some trees and crops planted, as well as we set up the first Lido. Today I want to focus on getting this area set up for the bot factory line. Uh, we'll need to get a few bot part factories set up, and then we'll also need to get a refinery. But then after we get the refinery, we can get the bot assembler set up, and hopefully we'll get to see our first bot by the end of the day. So I've been playing with the layout of these buildings for a while, but I think I figured out how I want to place them. And with the power of editing, we're going to take a look at that layout right here. Wait, no, that's a future video. Cut, cut, cut! Sorry, had some technical difficulties there. That was definitely not a future mega build video that will be coming out in the next one to three weeks, depending on my schedule. Definitely not. So this will be the most optimal layout for creating beaver bots. Since we have the three bot part factories on the bottom and then on top of one of them, we have the small warehouses to store the extra parts, and then we have the two bot assemblers on the top. It's the next day and it looks like they already got the first bot part factory made. So I'm gonna have George make some limbs here. Now we gotta get a healer set up since we have these buildings that are more likely to cause injury to the beavers. And we also need to set up some medical beds because there are definitely gonna be some injured beavers coming up soon. And since we got a thousand science, I went ahead and got the first labor monument. This is going to reach all the beavers over here. I think we're going to do another lumber mill and another gear workshop. Because these buildings only gears and planks. And we're running a little bit low on those in this district right now. And it looks like we have just enough science in order for us to get the refinery. So let's unlock that, and since it doesn't require power, I could see where I'm placing it. I think getting it set up right here will be perfect. I think we're going to give these guys a labor monument as well, since they have plenty of wood. Okay, just got the notification that we have a drought coming in 2.9 days, but I'm actually pretty excited for this one. Since, if you remember in the last couple episodes, we set some dams up. We have these three dams set up, and that was set up by Massachusetts. We also had New Hampshire set up this dam over here. This is actually the tallest of all the dams, but we got the final three set up in the last episode by none other than Rhode Island. I think this district also needs to have a couple more houses built, because if you can see, we have some vacant jobs and we don't want that these guys have plenty of food i think i might bump up their water production and storage a little bit looks like they're making good progress over here even though they are a little bit short on gears and planks we did manage to set up one more of each i think probably setting up another plank factory will be the quickest set up a nice recreation area for these beavers. We got the rooftop terrace and then we got a shrine as well. I think I want to get some more fun stuff set up here. Well, a mud bath would be cool, but that takes dirt and treated planks and a butt ton of science, which we don't have quite yet. I just realized that these guys don't actually even have a campfire. You know, we don't actually need this anymore since we already built the dams. So I can get rid of those. I think we should be able to fit a campfire right there. I can also place a staircase right here. And since you can recycle these, let's do this. Look at that. So we'll get one wood and three planks back, which is almost the exact cost for stairs. And it's just one, one wasted plank is not too bad. So I probably want to get that. Unless... I need to pause this. Ooh, because if a beaver hops behind here and grabs these while someone's constructing it, then they will get trapped right here. And I've dealt with that too many times. 
Oh, wow, they went around, okay. Interesting. Well, I can unpause this now. Okay, work is over, and this is definitely the recreation area. Look at that. Campfire, rooftop terrace, and a shrine. Look, the beavers are enjoying a nice, quiet, relaxing day. Work wasn't too hard. Not too much to do. And they're gonna go to bed and have sweet dreams about the pleasantness of tomorrow. Nothing too extreme that they have to deal with. Ah, uh, the beavers are enjoying the nice sunrise. Wait, what's that? It's an extreme mega production site. This new facility will have planks, gears, scrap metal, metal production, and paper. They have state-of-the-art power wheels, windmills, and super windmills. And with there being only four beavers to get all this constructed, I figure it'll take about like three years. So we will need to get some more houses and some more builders set up for sure. And you may be wondering why all the lodges are in the water, but they actually will not be flooded buildings since the, the entrance is above the water. And it also gives the beavers wet fur whenever they're sleeping in the houses. Okay, it is the day of the drought, and now we get to see if all the dams paid off, and it's eight days long, so it is the longest drought we've experienced so far. Let's see how we hold up. Okay, you can see the water is now within here. Everything's drying up, but if we go take a look at all these dams, we'll see if the water's still flowing. There is some still leaving, but not that much. And you can see it's actually slowing down, like right here. Looks like these two just to the right of that aren't even flowing right now. And this one stopped flowing. I think we did it. We managed to keep this whole area full of water. And you can actually see right over here that all the water, except for the little pockets of ponds, is all dry. Also, we finally got a refinery, so we can select biofuel with carrots since we have 900 plus carrots in this district. Okay, we got another builder's hut, uh, but there's no beavers in there, so there's plenty of open beds, but I think I'll just take a little bit of time before they move into the new houses. So it looks like we have all three bot part factories set up, and we have the refinery set up. Now we're just waiting on this first bot assembler to be built, and we're just a little bit short on metal blocks right now. Look at that, we got the first labor monument built. We also had the first underground pile, which is unique to this faction, as you can see. Only the folktales have it, and it stores a whole lot of logs. Once this district gets the bot assembler set up, and we actually have some gears and planks stored, then I'm going to want to get another underground pile set up, because you can see that we have a lot of wood, and this each one of these only holds a tenth as much as an underground storage. Oh sweet, we got a bunch of these set up. Now there's a lot of vacant jobs, so I gotta kinda sort this out. Looks like the drought is over and we still actually have some water. So we have a second smelter set up, but that's not quite enough in order for us to get the bot assembler. We're still missing 12 metal blocks. And it's not moving very fast, unfortunately. In the meantime, while we're waiting for the bot assembler to be constructed, we are actually getting some bot heads, chassis, and limbs. Since we have a bucket of science, and we also know that this water here won't dry up during the dry season, I think getting an aquatic farmhouse is next on the list. This way we can plant some cattail and spatterdock help get the well-being of the beavers up and get some variety in their diet. Oh yes, they got it. Making the first beaver bot. So this takes a whopping 36 hours to complete. And look at that, got injured immediately. It's almost done. Oh, it's done. There it is, look at that. The first beaver bot, man, he is flying. He doesn't even know what he's gonna do. He 
unemployed. I think we want to get him making metal because that one is kind of dangerous and beavers can end up in the hospital because of that. So get him working there. Looks like we managed to build this whole factory line, which honestly kind of surprised me. I didn't think we were going to get it done so quickly. Uh oh, we got a bunch of hungry beavers. Let's unpause this. Okay, well, I think with that we're going to end it on a little bit of a cliffhanger. We'll see how they fare in the morning. With that, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!